Algebra 1, Exponents and Powers. Today we're going to look at exponents and grouping symbols. So here we have two examples of how we're going to use exponents and depending on how the symbols are grouped we're going to get very different solutions. So it says evaluate the expression when x equals 4. So our first example is 2x cubed. Now in this case the cube, the 3, only applies to the x, not the 2. So when we go ahead and plug in our 4, it becomes 2 times 4 cubed, and the cube, the exponent 3, is only applied to the 4. So when we do that, we get 2, and 4 cubed, of course, is 4 times 4 times 4. So this gives us a value of 2 times 64. 4 times 4 being 16, 16 times 4 being 64. And that value, of course, is 128. So again, in this situation, the cube, or the 3 exponent, is only applied to the x itself. Now in our second example, we have the quantity 2x cubed. So in this case, the cube is applied to both the 2 and the x. So in this case, when we plug in, it becomes 2 times 4 in the parentheses, so the quantity of 2 times 4 cubed, which then gives us a value of 8 cubed, 2 times 4 being 8, and in this situation we get 8 times 8 times 8, which we get 512, 8 times 8 being 64, and 64 times 8 being 512. Again, in this situation, the cube, or the 3 exponent, is applied to both the 2 and the x, and we get an answer of 8 cubed being 512. So that is grouping symbols and using exponents to solve for expressions.